Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I hope the lighting is good. I'm trying to film really quick for you guys. Um, please excuse the mess. I've been dabbling into my Cricut machine and I have stuff all over the place. This is like my craft room slash beauty room, which I need to fix up. And I'll probably show you guys a clip of me doing that. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a little bit of time because it's not going to take long at all. Um, to sit down and show you guys what my everyday makeup looks like and what I've been doing to my hair So I'm just gonna jump right into it when I straighten my hair I don't like to just have my ends straight. I kind of like to curl them and this is from yesterday So it's already combed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Curl the ends and I'll show you what I'm gonna use and actually these are curls that last and curls don't last in my hair at all so I actually just tried this out and it's been working really well for me, so I really like it. I'm going to be using a three and quarter inch barrel. Um, so then what I like to do is I just take a piece like this. You could do it thicker or thinner, however you like. And then I take the barrel and I just wrap it around. I don't use this thing here because I found that this way it will uh, stay longer like the curl will hold longer all day um, so I just actually tried this out yesterday and it worked out really well I've tried it with using the handle and it actually doesn't hold that well but like this it does Take it again and you can like switch it up like how like which way you want it to go whether you want it to go away from your face or if you want it to um, go toward your face and I mostly like to do away from the face and then sometimes I'll alternate it. So today I'm trying to do this quickly just because I want to show you guys that you can do this really quick before you leave your house. I think they're like, since from yesterday they were curled, they're like going into the opposite direction but it's fine because they're going to drop and then it's going to be fine. Home it out afterwards I just leave it and then I let it just fall because it'll it'll end up falling and then always for my front piece I will go with in a different direction instead of putting it over I'll put it under and I'll curl away so instead of putting this hair like this I do it like that and then, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, so then what I like to do is go under the barrel and then flip it over and even if this sticks out it's okay you can just do it over the hair that you have because it'll get warm see it'll like face that way instead of that way because then it'll look weird um and then I just leave it alone so this is how it looks I hope you guys can see really well and they're right now they're kind of tight right now but um like I said as I walk around and I go outside it'll loosen up and it'll look really nice if you want to put your fingers through it, you can I don't because like I said my hair doesn't hold a curl really well so it's it'll really easily just drop the curl like I never did anything so I like to just leave it because it'll it'll drop naturally and then it'll look really good so in today's video we'll be including Mamba here so I don't know if you guys know or if I for I guess for people who don't follow me on Instagram I posted back in March that Angel got me another dog for my birthday. Don't eat stuff. And he was a tiny puppy. 
but now he's a big giant. He's a big gentle giant. So his name is Mamba. And he is a cane corso mastiff. He's so cute. And he's so cute. <laughs> so I figure in this portion of the video, why not let him um, be in the video for once. He's never upstairs. He's always downstairs. Um, so I'm gonna let him sit here with me. Uh, and be part of the video so if you guys hear anything like chewing it's because he's on my lap <laughs> he's curious of everything that he's seeing because he's never up here all right so <clears throat> now what I want to do since I showed you guys how I do my hair so this it's been I want to say like a good no not the curtain it's been a good like hour or two um since I did them, since I did the curls. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my everyday makeup. I don't wear makeup every single day, um, but when I do wear it, I always do the same thing every single time and I don't switch it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do in, uh, when I'm not talking in a camera, it actually can be really, really quick. Um, so I'll show you guys what I start with. So, First thing that I always do, um, I try not to do it really on top of each other, so I definitely moisturize my face. Um, I use the Pond's moisturizer. Um, I've been using that for a while. I put that all over my face and then on my neck as well. Um, so then I do that first and then I'll do my hair so that way it can like dry up instead of putting makeup right on top. And then I'll go ahead and I'll start on my makeup. Um, so I think I spoke about, yeah, I have used this before. I'm using two different types of concealers, which is the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer and Medium Custard. Um, so this one I've had for a while. I know that I've definitely um, spoke about this or definitely done like my everyday makeup with this before. I still use it and I still really like it. And then I'm also using the Wet n Wild Concealer. Um, and it's a pro, uh, the Photo po Focus Concealer. And this one is in light, medium beige. It's really inexpensive, but it's really, really, really good. This one's really light, so I have to use like a, a light hand on this, um, because if not, then I'm gonna look like I have like bulbs under my eyes. So I put just a little bit. That's pretty much what I start with. I don't prime my face. I used to use a primer, but I haven't been liking using a primer because I feel like the primers that I've been using, they just mess with my makeup. They just mess with the way that I, uh, that the makeup turns out to be throughout the day. And this has actually worked for me really well. And being that I'm more oily, I have some dry areas like around, um, but here in my t-zone i'm more oily and i noticed that the way i've been doing it i've been actually okay so i'll start blend i'll stop blabbing now and we'll get into it i'm gonna go with this real quick so this is the real techniques um sponge and it's the one that i always use i've used so many different ones and this is the one that i mostly go for so before i even continue everything i do want to say a full disclaimer here so this is the way that i do my makeup i'm not saying i'm a professional i'm not saying that this is the right way or the wrong way i don't really think there can be some wrong ways but i don't feel like if you have a certain way that works for you and you like it then i don't think it's wrong um but this is the way that I do it and I'm just trying to share with you guys because some of you have asked me before. So that's my disclaimer. Because I start with my concealers first, believe it or not. So I work it more in the corners here. Um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little. I work my concealer here in the corners because if you can see, it's darker. So, I like to work it up here in the corner. 
mostly. I just want to make sure you can see you can. And then I'll do the other side. And I don't go, like I don't fill this up all the way because I just, I'm going to spread it with the sponge. <clears throat> and this NARS concealer is almost done. So then once I do a little bit of that, I go in with my Wet n Wild concealer and I go over it and this one's a little bit more creamier and there's more in it because it's newer. Um, this one's like drying up on me so now I'll go in with my beauty blender or sponge and see I just I basically just dab it into that corner and then I spread it out. And so I kind of keep it, stop, I kind of keep it like, I try to go on like a sideways triangle, stop, keep it like on a, like a sideways triangle, so that's how I work it. So I work it down in the corner and out and up. So that way I get like, my eyes are already, they're big but they're small in the sense of like being chinky. So. I like to work it up because then that way it really gives me like a lifted eye look. Um, I love that. So I work it up into like my temple. Just like that. See? And so now I'll do the other side. There and I'll bring it up. And hope you guys are enjoying this little my everyday makeup tutorial with Mamba in it. It's not your usual day-to-day -day makeup sit-down tutorial because you don't always have a cute face like this. He wants a sponge. That's what he wants. So once I do that, that's done like that. So once I do that, now I can zoom you guys out. Now this I've been talking about for over a year. Ever since it came out and I started using it. This, I've never stopped using it. I actually have a backup for this one and this one's not done yet. <clears throat> I actually went to buy, this is where I'm at right now. As you can see, I hit pan here, but I use the sides. Um, this is my second purchase and then the backup I have that'll be my third one So it lasts me a long time only because like I said, I don't do my makeup every single day So when I do like put on makeup, this is what I'll do So I use the black side not the fuzzy side even though I've used the fuzzy side and then what I'll do is I'll put it there so wherever I did my concealer I don't put the sponge other than on the side of my temples so I'll put this all over my face and I'll put it over my nose like that and then on the side of my face So I basically, I don't bring it up here and I'm going to show you guys why. I used to, but that I just felt like that didn't work out throughout the day. So I don't do that anymore. Just wipe it on everywhere like that well right in the description below all the stuff that I get the shade the name of everything so that way you know and you can reference it under there in case you want to try these things out and I put it down my neck as well want it to all match so it gives me a really matte look which I like um, and this one is in shade Y315 
It's the Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. It's my baby, I love it. What I'll do is I'll go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour in Dulce de Leche. So it looks like this. So it comes with these two colors here. And so I'll take this lighter color and what I'll do is I'll take like this brush and since it's pointy, I like it because I'll just tap it, then tap the excess, and then I'll set my under eye with that. And then, and then I'll go over with my over my nose. So this is the area that I like to set because I'll get shiny under here. So I set it with this, and this is brightening. So there's some powders i've used so many different powders and when i put the powder under my eye i noticed that it makes like my high my not my highlight my concealer like it just like darkens it where i want it to be bright under here so that obviously it looks like i'm super awake so that's what i do with this i go in with this or like i said i'll go in with the wet and wild darker color but i really like this one from tarte uh don't be afraid to dazzle Double Duty Beauty Contour and Highlight Palette. I don't know if they still have it, but I'll check. I just like that this color, it comes with a highlight and it comes with like a like a bronzing powder, contour powder, whatever you want to call it. And it's more of like a ashy color rather than an orangey, bronzy color. And that goes better with my face, so this is what I do. So just go around this way. Sorry, I'm using that viewfinder on the side to see. And I just go in with this big brush, which this one is by, oh, I can't remember the brand. My leg is falling asleep. So I basically just put it everywhere. Like that. And I just bring it down. I put it down here. I don't exactly just do like that line in here. I do it everywhere. And then it warms me up a bit. So that's it. That's all I do there. And then what I do is I go in with a little bit of blush and I use my Milani Luminoso brush. Blush. And then I just use a brush brush. A blush. A blush brush. Tap the excess, smile, and go in right on top of those those cheeks when you smile. And I don't put a lot. And this one kind of feels like it has it has like a highlight in it, so I don't unless I really want to have more of like a highlight. I don't um, add highlight because, like I said, this is like an everyday in and out kind of thing, kind of like makeup look if you will so it adds a little bit of highlight so so for my eyebrows sometimes i'll fill them in right now they're not filled in i did get them microbladed a couple months ago so that's why i don't always fill them in but when i don't do my makeup when i don't do this kind of makeup i sometimes will fill in like the ends here if you see they're kind of like missing um they're kind of like not completely filled in, but they have like an outline. Um, so then that's when I'll fill them in and I'll use this um, with makeup or even without makeup. You see that? And this is the spoolie. This is in the color brunette. And because my hair is so dark, I actually could go darker. But every time I go to the store, I forget to get a darker one. And I'm already using it, so I just figure I'll just let it run out. And then I'll remember to get, like, a darker shade. But if you are, like, if you have black hair, I would go a shade darker than the brunette color that I have. So I basically follow the eye outline that I have. I don't do anything special. And I just basically fill in wherever i'm missing some pigmentation like that i don't do any overlining i 
seriously just stay within my hairs and within the outline that I have from the microblading. So I'm very fortunate because the girl that does my brows, she does such a good job at the way she shapes them. I've never had somebody shape them the way she does and so I'm really lucky honestly. The beauty of my brows is because of her. Um, and she's also the one that does my lashes and she's also the one that um, did the microblading. She's awesome at everything that she does. Sorry if you hear Mamba sniffling everywhere. He's so curious. He's still a puppy, guys. He's eight months. He's still a puppy. After I do my brows, all filled in. Um, after I fill them in, this is it. Like, this is literally it. Um, so, this is what my everyday looks like. Um, to spruce it up, though, my camera's gonna die. To spruce it up, though, what I'll do is I'll put blue liner under here and I use this kind of little brush. See how it's like so pointy and thin? And then I use this one, which I don't know if it's available, but you can use this color um, and it'll look just fine. So then I just put that under my eyes. And I really like that, the, the color it gives me, especially with my black hair. And this I've had for so long, honestly. I probably shouldn't be using it, but I really like the color. And I don't know, there's just something about it. Um, I'll see if it's still available. And then I'll... It barely charged. And I had to lay there for a good 30 minutes to get this type of juice. Before it died, I was telling you that I used this. So I already did it on this eye, and you can see it really well. And I'm just gonna show you how I do on this eye. So I just dip, 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 dip. And then, I line my eye with it. So I go all on the waterline. Like this. Boom. See? Boom. So it gives me, it gives my eyes, being that they're so dark, it gives them like a really good pop of color. And because of my black hair too, it stands out. So I like it to kind of like spruce it up and not be so plain. And then lastly, I'm going to tell you guys some of the um, uh, lip liners and the lipsticks that I use. They're always matte. Sometimes I will put like a little gloss over them. But 9 out of 10 times, I'm always with a matte lip. I have high end and then I'll have like dupes for them. So my favorite lip liner that's high end is going to be Makeup Forever in 3C and that's this one right here. And it's just like that, it's just that that same color right there, freaking love this. Um, and then a dupe for that would be the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner and this one's in Magnetic Mauve. So they're a mauve color. It's that one like right there and I find this to be a complete dupe so I'll use a drugstore one since I I rather purchase drugstore than high-end um, and then I'll either use this one on my lips and this is the Too Faced Mel Melted Matte Liquid Matte and this one's in Child Star and I've had this for a long time or I'll use my Huda Beauty um, matte lipstick and interview which is this one um so just for today i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and because of the mask i don't usually do anything to my lips i'll stay just like this but for the purpose of this video today i'll go ahead and i'll do it so you guys can see how i do it so let me move up a little okay so i just outline Like this. And 
and I will kind of fill in my lips a little. Just because I wanted to mix. Um, so once I do that, I'll show you what the Huda Beauty color looks like. And this broke because it melted. Which I really did not like about Huda Beauty. I was like, not cool. Um, but whatever. So then I go on like that. And that's what it looks like. That's the bottom. And there you go. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, I really like this color. is such a nice, like, mauve color. It looks good, and as you can see, I don't look too done up. It just looks, to me, it just looks normal. So it's not too done up. It's not cakey. Um, it lasts throughout the day really, 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 really well. Um, and... To be honest with you, I don't touch up my lips throughout the day. Um, after I eat, I, it kind of gives me like a nice like rubbed off kind of lipstick look vibe that I really enjoy. So I don't ever, um, I don't ever really retouch that much, honestly. Maybe I'll dab or so, but I don't really retouch that much. I just leave it alone. Um, but yeah, so this is what my everyday makeup looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed Mamba being in the video and being so funny. Excuse him for being so loud. Um, but I will see you guys in my next one. Comment below if you want to see any more makeup videos and if you want me to dabble into some eyeshadow and show you guys how I do some of my most used October looks for fall. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Está pendiente de la cita ah, Está malvada y quien la ve tan bonita ah, 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 ah. Estoy para ti siempre, beba Te amo la noche entera ah.